what it do you to slash patreon slash bit shoot today's video i want to chime in with a quick impromptu video in today's video i want to talk about the illuminati police aka the hip-hop police right so you know right now everybody talking about the young dog murder case a lot of people still talking about what happened to mo3 you know things of that nature but i want to really give you a breakdown of all this stuff where it stemmed from from the old school rappers and who it originally stemmed from from the new school rappers right so a lot of people gonna say how do you know this blah 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 i already told you this in my last videos i am an earth angel i have access to frequencies that other beings or entities don't have for example if you're a satanist a high level satanist high level satanists have access to frequencies that um regular people don't have or low level satanists don't have so for example if you're an earth angel but you sleep and you don't know that you're an earth angel or you haven't discovered it yet you might have access to certain frequencies but it's for a short period of time because your mind is fogged up with tv gmo foods low vibrations you know things of that nature so for example so just because you know and i can also remote view it's this thing that the cia does you know they like to call it astral projection but it's a thing that you can do with your mind where you can remote view and you can see what's going on in a different room without even being in there you have access to certain frequencies so if that answers your question let's get into it a lot of people that's gonna go over their mind because they never heard no stuff like this before or they just still into low vibrations and they haven't opened up their mind yet so this hip-hop illuminati police stuff it all started with biggie and tupac it all started with biggie and tupac so basically the whole ordeal with this is is to control entertainers because entertainers have a, a limited amount of influence so for example you have the brotherhood aka freemasonry aka the illuminati if you want to go up a higher branch and you know it's different sub cults and sub and sub fraternities i guess you could say like so for example freemasons would just be grouping them all together but you got like like the templar you got um shit um other motherfuckers i can't even name all of them there's just so many different ones from different countries different states different cities all type of shit it's just a breakdown but the only one i could really remember is the knights of templar and if you play assassin's creed they talk about the knights of templar versus the assassins in that video game and that shit is deep within itself so basically you know um begin tupac so you know tupac he is originally from new york you know um he is a part he's like direct descendant of the bloodline of the black panthers his mom afini shakur she was the head of the new york black panthers after uh tupac father got killed by the police years ago or whatever and you know tupac had major influence or whatever but then he started getting into this thug life stuff not that he was like pretending to know shit like that it's just because you know that that revolutionary was really in his blood so when he was rapping and shit like that he signed the endoscope and all that stuff blah 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 whole time he didn't know or he probably did know that he sold over you know what i mean he sold his soul if you want to say it like that i know a lot of people might get offended tupac my favorite rapper you know what i mean one of my favorite rappers you know what i mean he's a legend in the game biggie too you can't sleep on biggie but it's not just about tupac it's just like giving you a little rundown you know what i mean to kind of break the ice so tupac he was very outspoken you know what I mean? That Black Panther revolutionary shit was in his blood. He was very outspoken. And when you sign with those people, or if you don't 
officially cross over, they're going to kill you and get you out the way. But with Biggie and Tupac, they were just like guinea pigs for the elite. Let's just say it like that. Because if Tupac and Biggie were still alive, Jay-Z wouldn't be as big as he is. Nas wouldn't be as big as he is. Kanye, none of these people would really be as big as they was. You see what I'm saying? So they had to use them as guinea pigs. So basically, you know, Tupac was signed. Then, you know, Suge Knight ended up getting him out of jail. Blah, 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 blah all that stuff. But the thing is, it was the whole, the whole setup. You know, build them up to kill them. And that's what they do. And that's the game. So they build these rappers up. Starting with Biggie and Tupac. They build them up. And then they kill them. And the whole thing is to get the life insurance. And to get their masters. So they can keep making money off of them. So the elite can um, take that money from them. And, and put it into different investments. So they don't have to use their own money. You see what I mean? That's one of the main goals of why they do this. Plus, they were getting too strong and influential, and they had to make it seem like it was an East Coast, West Coast thing, and Tupac and Biggie, they, they clearly said it in interviews, they got interviews still up from back in the day of them talking about it, saying they trying to make it an East Coast, West Coast thing, where it's not even that. That's just what the, what the government was trying to portray, aka the elite. So people wouldn't really look into what was going on, and it was a police officer who actually cracked the case, but they ended up killing him. Like, like 2015 or some shit like that. I might be mistaken. Excuse me, I can't remember his name. But they end up uh, killing him. So it started with them. Now let's fast forward to uh, the new age rappers. Now, don't get me wrong. New age rappers. Well, you could kind of still say like early 2000s was uh old school rappers too you can say that too like it was new millennium but they it was a different genre so you had a few rappers that died mysteriously you know like pimp c they had to get him out the way take his masters so they could take his money and invest it into different projects and um and different investments um you know michael jackson prince even though they weren't rappers but still michael jackson and prince they were more like experiments on the pop culture scene and that was another thing because they was getting too influential and too big and they had to kill them and get them out of the way so they could take their masters and shit like that and take the money that they earn and invest it into other projects and businesses. That's what a lot of people don't understand. And that's the whole thing is to build these people up and then kill them. See, Michael Jackson was being built up as a child to be their superstar and shit like that. You know, same thing with Prince. They was being built up as, as a child. And you know, I might be missing a few people here and there, but I'm just giving you main key factors. Now, let's go until today's age. It started with this hip-hop police shit and the new age rappers. It started with, um, I want to say, it started with XXX, Tentacion. Now, I could be forgetting somebody. I'm just trying to think over it again to make sure I'm not. But it originally started with XX Tentacion. Now, let me tell you why. XXX Tentacion, yeah, he signed a deal to Empire and all that type of stuff like that. And yeah, he was doing some knucklehead stuff still right around his hood and all that type of stuff. But he didn't know that they was building him up to kill him because once he, like, signed over and all that shit, and they invested all that money into him. When he was on that evil demonic shit, they was pushing that. But then once he actually woke up and broke out of the MK Ultra, XXX Tentacion broke out of the MK Ultra. And they put certain people around him to act as handlers, right? And when they did that, basically what happened was he started giving back to the people. Food drives and all that stuff. And he was beefing with Drake as well, sending shots at Drake. You know, and you have to remember, you have rappers that are like industry rappers, but they're not necessarily industry rappers. That's just what they call them. They really like elite rappers. As in they with the elites. They fully signed over. They fully they fully fledged 
blood in, blood out, and it's a cult. You know what I mean? Like people like Drake, Lil Wayne, Jay Z, Kanye West. Notice that none of these people have died yet. Why? Because they fully in the Masonic ring with these people. Uh, Lil Boosie, um, Yo Gotti. Um, it's just so many motherfuckers. Like even singers and shit. Beyonce, Alicia Keys, motherfucking. Uh, there's so many of them, man. I can't even, I can't even name them all. And even with athletes, because athletes, that's entertainment too. You know what I mean? Why do you think a lot of these basketball players are still alive and shit? Because they are part of the elite. They are part of that Illuminati shit. And then you got certain rappers and shit, like Tupac and shit. He was signed with them, but he wasn't fully signed over with them. And when you don't fully sign over with them or you don't fully cross over with them and you around these certain people and shit like that, and you don't sign over, they're going to get rid of you because one, you know too many secrets. Two, you're not with the brotherhood. You know what I mean? Like they look at you as like an outcast or a black sheep because it's like, yeah, you're around us and shit, but you ain't fully in. You ain't fully go through all the rituals. You ain't fully do this. You ain't fully, you know, so they just get rid of you because you're expendable. And then they take your masters and your money and shit and they invested in different projects. So started with XXX Tentacion, then Nipsey Hustle. Right? See, when Nipsey Hustle started giving back and all that shit, he got too much power. He never fully crossed over. He never fully signed over with those people. So they had to get rid of him. They killed Nipsey, took all his money and all his masters and shit. And they invested that shit into the square. You know, the little square device where you can tap your card and boop and all that shit. Same thing with Prince. When they got rid of Prince, they took all his money from his masters and shit, invested into title. Pay attention. Because they didn't fully sign over. And if you do fully sign over and you start to wake up and you don't want to do it no more, they get rid of you. Like Heath Ledger, the dude who played um, the Joker in the Batman movie and shit. He was signed over, but he ain't want to do it no more. So he was a part of the brotherhood, but he ain't want to do it no more. He started waking up, so they had to get rid of him. He knew too many secrets. And they controlled these celebrities and shit by threatening them and shit like that. Like, nigga, you only could ball out. You only could talk about this. You only could do this. You only could do that. And like I said, Tentacion, he wasn't fully signed over. You know, he was on that young, wild, I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do shit outspoken so they had to get rid of him nipsey hustle he wasn't fully signed over they had to get rid of him and notice you can be fully signed over but if you start to wake up to what the fuck going on and you don't want to do it no more the rituals they get rid of you so who else you had juice world um you had mo3 you had king bond fbg duck um, shit, man. You got, uh, who else? Draco the Ruler. Um, Slim 400. Young Dolph. These people, Young Dolph was independent. He never fully signed over. Remember, they tried to get him to sign and shit with Rock Nation. He he ripped up the check. They ended up getting shot and shit. And then next to you know, he was next to Jay-Z throwing up the rock sign. You know, they gonna force you to sign over. Oh yeah, he still don't wanna fully sign over. He's still acting funny. He's still on that on that that Robin Hood shit giving back. Gotta get rid of him. You know what I mean? And all these rappers that's just not getting killed, little peep. Motherfucker, man, there's so many of them, bro. Like, I might be even missing some, but I'm just naming, like, some names that people are familiar with. Mac Miller, you see what I'm saying? They wasn't fully signed over. And rest in peace to Zach TV. A lot of y'all know who Zach TV was. He was one of the biggest bloggers in Chicago. He talked about it. He talked about it multiple times with Ken Yella. Shout out Ken Yella, too. He talked about it with Ken Yella back in the day. He said, if you don't want to sign over... You ain't gonna never make it in the industry. You ain't gonna never make it in the industry if you don't fully sign over. No, 
let's say if you do sign over, but then you start moving funny, like you can do whatever you want to do, they still going to get rid of you because you're not following their rules. You see how it go? So because you got some people that they, they play their role, they play the part for a certain while. And then once they start getting all this money and shit, they 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 they, they bigger than the elite. And then the elites come and take them out. That's usually what happens. They build them to kill them. See, this is operation. Um, operation um, build to kill. That's what I call it. And like I said, all these rappers that's just dropping. Oh yeah, pop smoke. All these rappers that's dropping back to back to back to back to back. It's not funny, but if you pay attention to what's happening, it's a serious pattern. And these people do patterns. They work in patterns. They work in symbols. A lot of these rappers, yeah, they started to play their part, you know, to get their foot in the door. Once they actually got in the door, they stopped doing the rituals. They stopped listening. They started doing whatever the fuck they want to do. And that's how they got killed. And usually they build them up high enough to kill them to take their masters because a lot of them don't own their masters and you know um, yeah they kill them get rid of them put a story behind it oh uh, and this happened suicide overdose you know what I mean home invasion woo, woo, woo. the whole time it's sent by the hip hop police these people are monitored by the CIA 24-7 because they have too much influence one little word or one little the wrong word And boom, they gone. Same thing with FBG Duck. FBG Duck, he had his foot in the door, but he had to grind for hella, hella, hella long. But once he had his foot in the door, they knew Duck wasn't going to conform. So they said, fuck it, we might just get rid of him now. King Von, they knew he was a savage. They had to get rid of him. You see what I'm saying? And look at all the rappers right now that's still alive and shit. You got Lil Dirk. Man, you got... um. You got Big 30, you got motherfucking um, CMG, you got um, Key Glocks, and all these different people and shit. They are the new runners, they are the new runner ups. Love Baby, Polo G, all these dudes, they the new, the new um, young gunners for the Illuminati, let's say it like that. Like they like, like for example, like I said, you got the old school elites, like Jay Z, Kanye. P. Diddy, motherfucking, um, shit, um, Yo Gotti, all these people, and then with the athletes, because that's still entertainment. Michael Jordan, you know, Larry Bird, Scotty Pimpin, Dennis Rodman, um, all these people, Shaq. I can keep going on and on and on. Why you think they had to get rid of Kobe? Kobe was a part of them, yeah. But once he started doing the children's books and winning Grammys and shit, they didn't want him to do that. He started teaching his daughter the real game. They had to get rid of them. This is real talk. This is why it's playing out like that. And why you think they never really find out who's doing it or these people never get caught? Because the police and all these people, they all in on it. They all work with the elite. For example, See how Lil Wayne kept having those seizures at one point in time? Those was warning from the elite. Like, get your shit together or we're going to take you out this shit. And you see Lil Wayne been cool ever since. You see what I'm saying? Um, who else? Um, Rick Ross. I forgot about him. He a part of them too. Meek Mill. All of them. And the thing is, what I personally think, I think Rick Ross is trying to soothe Burner in you know, benoist to burner, you know, unbenoist to burner. And burner could be a part of those people because he making so much money off the music, off the clothing, and off the weed thing. That's why Rick Ross is kind of like around him and shit like that. Like, don't get me wrong, he around other celebrities, but that's why Rick Ross kind of around him, kind of to sue them in to see if he gonna sign over. Burner probably did sign over, he probably didn't. I'm not too sure, you know, because burner still seem humble, he still seem genuine but you never know i don't know these people i'm just saying off body language what they talking about what they do you know what i'm saying how they moving you see um who else you see kanye when he started talking that real shit by land he dope i wouldn't be surprised if they take kanye out soon 
He said, with the money that the government is giving us, put it together and buy land. He's not supposed to say stuff like that. When he was talking about back in 2018 that slavery was a choice, I understood what the fuck he meant. I made a video about that shit going in. He absolutely right. It was a choice because those motherfuckers, our ancestors, I'm sorry to say, they could have got together and, and struck down a goddamn slave master. So he was right. Slavery was a motherfucking choice. They could have got together, killed their motherfucking slave master, and took their land back. That's why you got real OGs like Harriet Tubman, Frederick Douglass, motherfucking Rosa Parks, Martin Luther King, all that shit, even back then. That's why they got took out. Because the motherfuckers had too much power. They was waking up people. So the game is different now. Now it's like, okay, we're going to give them like a year and a half, maybe two years. See how they moving. If we're not impressed, kill them, get rid of them. And that's why you got a lot of these rappers, they still alive right now. Because, you know, they playing it smart. They're not doing shit. they doing what the elite's telling them to do. they putting out the type of music the elite's telling them to put out. Excuse me. Yeah, I know Burner is independent and stuff like that. But once you start making a certain amount of money, or if you like brilliant or genius, like Kanye West, they're going to make you sign over. They're going to make you sign over. And if you don't sign over, they're going to get rid of you. Like, for example, when Kanye said the slavery shit was a choice. Oh, he's crazy. He's going to the psych ward. That was a warning for Kanye. You keep up talking this real shit, we're going to end up getting rid of your ass. Same thing they did with Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac, you know, um, they showed him the clone lab and all this type of stuff. He couldn't take it. He started talking about it and got ratted out by Steve Harvey and D.L. Hughley. They ratted him out. And Bernie Mac was outspoken. He's from Chicago. He was a real nigga. He, he was outspoken. So what they do, they turned off his chip. He supposedly died from pneumonia. You know, the elite killed him. Because he was signed over with those people. Don't get me wrong. They gave him his own show and everything. He was signed over with those people. But he started doing shit he wasn't supposed to do. So they had to take him out. Same thing with Martin Lawrence. One of my favorite comedians. He signed over with those people. But once he started to be outspoken and saying a little shit on Twitter. Next thing you know he outside on the street waving the guns. And they trying to kill me. They trying to kill me. Come on, man, bro. That's why they got these Takashis. That's why they got these Wack 100s. That's why they got all these characters. And Suge Knight just checked these niggas. Suge Knight is an OG from Tupac and them time. He just checked these niggas. He know what's going on. That's why they got Suge Knight in jail. And if you go watch that million dollars worth of game with Suge Knight, that interview he did with Gilly the King. Shout out Gilly the King and shout out Wallow. But um, when he did that interview, he said it. Nobody, they not let him use his own lawyers, none of that shit. They not let him um, use his own money. They picking the people they want to represent him. They throwing him in jail, all that type of shit, because they know Shook may have money to get out. They know Shook may have lawyers to beat that shit. But they wanted him down because he wasn't a part of those people. You see what I'm saying? So he said it. They got proof and footage that those people were trying to kill him that day. That incident happened. But they weren't buying it because it's an Illuminati judge. It was an Illuminati elite courtroom that was staged like that. That's why certain shit playing out like that because the shit was staged like that. These people are set and placed there so motherfuckers can't wiggle their way out. Real talk. Real talk. You just see it. Why you think Drake and them had such an amazing career and shit like that? Because they follow what the elites tell them to do and they don't question it. Why do you think Jay-Z get all this respect and this praise and status? Because he follow what the elites tell him to do. But that's why it's Operation Build and Kill. Because they know a lot of these people, a lot of, you know, people, especially that come from our culture. Or in all cultures, they come from poverty. They never seen, they probably never even seen $10,000 before. You know what I mean? Or they never even seen a hundred thousand. You give them this money. They know you're gonna get big headed. They know you're gonna go out there and do dumb shit you're not supposed to do. And boom, they're gonna sacrifice your ass and get you out the way and replace you with somebody else. That's why I said that's what they got the Takashi's, all that shit. And they got to a point with Takashi, that's why he got kidnapped and shit. Cause he started getting too big headed, thinking he could do whatever the fuck he wanna do, not listen to what his hammers told him. So that was a warning for his ass. They kidnapped him, it was gonna kill him. But they was like, nah, we gonna give this nigga another chance. 
because they needed him to play a big role in all this snitching shit that's going on. All this shit is connected. That's why you got certain bloggers out here that's placed by the elite, by the elite, and they still have all the traffic to their videos and shit. Real shit. This operation build and kill. Get rid of a lot of these rappers, take their money, and create new startup companies, investments, all that shit. Real shit. That's why I think this shit happened with Young Dolph. Young Dolph ain't want to sign over. Well, he didn't officially sign over. He in the way. You gotta get rid of him. Real talk. I'm just, and just pay attention. Just pay attention. Just pay attention. Just pay attention. And like I said, I got mad respect for Burner right now. He's a fucking genius. You know what I mean? Burner, his whole team, they geniuses. You know, powers up. Motherfucking Al Fresco. Uh, Jigga, all of them. Stingy, all of them. Don't they are, I mean, it's just geniuses. They smart. But once you start making too much money, the elites want you to come over. If you ain't signing over for them, they gonna try to get rid of you. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you what I know. Just like the dude who created the, um, I think it's that MRG clothing line. He started making so much money, millions, killing the game. The elites wanted to sign him over and shit, so he kind of fell back. That's what a lot of people do. Like, a lot of these people, they make these little software companies and shit, and they, you know, they, they doing, they, they, they making millions and millions and shit overnight. Oh, yeah, you smart. The elites want you. You don't want to sign over. That's why a lot of them pull the plug on that shit, and they fall back on that shit because... They gonna come after you eventually if if you got some type of talent, some type of worth, or something they see in you, and you ain't trying to sign over, and you deny them, you might be alive for a while, but they gonna catch you eventually. It's all about timing. I'm trying to tell you what I know, man. Wink the damn up. More videos coming soon. Shit is real, man. I'm telling you. That's why Rick Ross is a round burner, trying to sue the man. Like I said, burner could have signed over those people. He probably didn't. I don't know. But eventually, if he didn't, they're going to try to get him to sign over. And if he don't, no. Same thing with Mo3. Same thing with all these people, bro. It's a pattern. 